Okay guys, so Donna, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. Um, if you have not already done so, go take a look around my channel. If you like what you see, subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. As you know, like a lot of you are either going to have to take the GRE if you're trying to apply to PA schools or you've already taken it or you're planning on taking it. Um, and this is this video is for you all because I wanted to help you all understand how to prepare for the GRE. And this has nothing to do with studying. This is all like the week before slash the day before, the night before taking your test. Because it's important to make sure that you're well prepared so that it's one less thing that's on your plate that you have to worry about or stress about um, because you're about to take this really big test, right? So I'm gonna go from like start to finish on the things that you should be doing. First and foremost, I think that it is absolutely important for you all to do a dry run. Okay, so with respect to the GRE, there's taken at test sites or test centers. And so it's important for you to know, like, how long is this trip from my house? You know, is there anything going on? Like, uh, is there like a, a detour? Um, and a perfect example of this is when I was graduating from PA school, right? So um, the graduation was being held on main campus and I am never on main campus because um, our building is off campus. So I was like, well, where are we supposed to be going? Where is this field? Um, because the school has like two different fields. I, was, I didn't, sh I wasn't sure which one it was. And so we had to meet at this field and I was like, all right, babe, well, let's go try to see where this field is because I did not want to be late because um, I had that happen to me on my white coat ceremony. I got lost. I thought I knew where it was. I put it in the GPS, but we got lost. So I was like, I'm not letting that happen this time. So we drove to to, um, the school to just kind of map out our path and see exactly where we were going and it was a lucky thing that we did that because when we were driving uh, the actual main route to get to this particular field was blocked off because there was construction and had I have not gone through um, main campus to try to see exactly where I should be going I would have been um, lost or I would have been stopped there because hey, there was a detour and I would have been late, right? And that is not what I want and that is not what you want. So it is essential for you all to plan out your trip because and know exactly the route that you're taking because if you are late, then you would not be able likely to take the test. And that is something that they do say on the ETS website. So first thing first, plan out your trip. Do a dry run uh, of the test center just to ensure that you're not late. Secondly, don't be late, right? So um, make sure that you arrive there 30 minutes beforehand. Um, and again, obviously in conjunction with understanding how long it takes you to get there, that will tell you how long, um, how far ahead of time you actually need to prepare to make it to the test center 30 minutes beforehand. And if you give yourself that buffer, it allows you time for any incidentals, you know, like, oh, you got a flat tire or, you know, there's an accident on the road and now you do have to make a detour. So what is going to happen? Um, you have an extra maybe 15 minutes if you only live 15 minutes away uh, to actually get to the test center on time and get checked in to take the test. And number three, you should be getting an absolutely beautiful restful night like if you have kids have the husband or the wife um, whoever your partner is have them take care of the kids that night you know you can say your good night and then you get a good night rest um, if you don't have kids like don't go out drinking don't go out partying the night before you know make sure that you are in your house do not study like just kind of like put that to the side and it's like all right you've done what you you came here to do you've studied these past you know, four to eight weeks or however long you've been studying. And now it's time for you to rest um, so that you give yourself time to like have these things marinate in your head and you come to the test day and the test center refreshed. The next thing that you should do is have a good well-rounded breakfast. So make sure that you're eating something very good, not like a donut so that you're like having this really high rush and then you're crashing, you know, halfway through your test. You want to make sure that it's well balanced, um, you know, kind of do like the basketball players. You can have like some carbs, some protein, um, making sure that you have like a little bit of sugar uh, and, and 
have yourself ready and prepared to take this test. When you actually get to the test center, there are some things that you should uh, know with respect to what you can and cannot bring into the test center. So jewelry is prohibited. Uh, so your necklaces, your earrings, you should not be wearing them to the test center. Uh, your wedding ring and your engagement ring are the only rings that they allow or the only jewelry that they allowed. So everything else will have to be taken off. So it's important that you just don't bring it. Um, leave it in the car uh, or leave it at home somewhere safe. Um, also, you know, they don't want any smart watches as we're in this era of smart watch or any type of watch or anything on your hand. Uh, so that's important to know if you do need like extra food or um, because you're a diabetic or you have to bring things into the center, um, into the actual room with you, then it's important that you go to ETS's website because there are accommodations for that, but you have to go through the steps for the accommodations. Um, also, you can go to ETS website um, and that website is www.ets.org. There you'll find all of the information that you will need for the test day. Um, so you can always go to that uh, little tab. It says Jerry like test day um, and it's going to be on the left hand side of the screen. Click that and that will have all of this, this information as well um, with respect to things that are prohibited and things that are not. Um, make sure that you dress appropriately for the test center because some of these test centers are freezing um, and so you want to ensure that you have like, you know, a little sweater or something like that, that you can bring in there with you, uh, that you can just have buttoned up and you can take off if needs be. You will be searched, you know, they will like ensure that you, there's nothing that you have that you could possibly cheat with. So even your glasses might be inspected to make sure that there's not like little things etched in there. So just be mindful of that because if you're going in and you're just thinking like, ah, I'm in game mode, I'm ready to take this test. Um, and then all of a sudden, like you have people saying, hey, I need you to do this, that and the other and you, you get flustered easily, then um, this is not for you in terms of like you need to make sure that you already have these things in mind. So this is essential that you prepare prior to taking your GRE and you know exactly what you're getting into so that when you come to the test day, um, there are no surprises. You will be needing an ID to get into your test as well. So make sure that you have an ID and that your name is exactly as it is on like your registered test form. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. If you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and like this video and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Instagram at Adana the PA. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!